It's Feedback Gaming. Hello, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Feeling good? I hope so. I'm currently going to play as the Soviet Union. And what is this? Is this a collab video? Yes, me and Aldrahill doing a collaboration. Me and Aldrahill. Where is Aldrahill? Well, he's not here right now. He's here in spirit. And his spirit will be Mr. Trotsky. So this is an alternative history series, guys. I am going to play as the Soviet Union in 1936. I am going to play and I am going to represent Joseph Stalin. And Mr. Aldrahill, he will represent Trotsky. That's right, Leon Trotsky. And uh, this alternative scenario is where Mr. Trotsky and Mr. Stalin decide to become buddies again. Good old pals. But sadly, they do still have political differences. So there may be instances where they may choose to backstab each other and, uh, well, do things that probably would uh, cause problems for each other. Hmm? Maybe. We'll see. Ha <laughs> ha. So, uh, this is a collaboration between me and Aldrahill. It is a save game swap. Each episode, which is going to be 30 minutes long, is going to be handed over to the next person. And we are going to conquer the world. Hopefully most of the world, kind of, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I'm going to play with the Expert AI mod, which I will link in the description below. Also note, the next episode of this series will be done by Aldrahill, which will be in the top of the comments below. Don't forget to check the comments. And also check the playlist for all the episodes for me and Aldrahill as a whole. Okay, we're going to play with the expert AI mod. We're going to play with challenging, which makes the AI use 40 width divisions, which makes things a lot more juicy and spicy. All the difficulties will be set to off. And we are going to have limit research for miners and limit South African, South African, South American production, which overall speeds the game up. Yes, that's right. Guys, if you enjoy Hearts of Iron 4, then you're watching this video. Congrats. Hey, and also like this video. Uh, I've never done anything like this before, a save game swap collaboration. So please let me know in the comments if you like this. Say, I like uh, the video, Dave. I like it. Yeah. One other thing we are going to do is turn no CB off. So that means we can declare war instantly. So this is going to be like a normal Hoi 4 game, but kind of a little bit on steroids. Like everything's just a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. Gotta go fast, right? And because it is kind of a save game swap scenario, we won't probably play in the most optimal fashion. You know what? Let's do the purge straight away. Straight away. Bang out that purge. You know what? You know what we'll do as well? We've got some military factories in random locations that probably won't even help the Aldrail at all. Optimal plays? Probably not, no. Oh, do you know what I really like? Strategic bombers. You know they're really good, aren't they? You know what? We'll import a lot of rubber for those strategic bombers too. <laughs> what else have we got? Guns. Perfect. That looks great. Um... And you know what I also like? You know what I also like? Old rubbish destroyers. I just love those old destroyers. They're so good. We'll make a load of those. There we go. Boom. We'll make those in Leningrad. Beautiful. Ha! Huh. Perfection. Why is this highlighted? Why have we have this button here? Oh, it's because we can do some of these coordination. These are extra buttons, by the way. If you are watching this and you don't understand the expert AI mod, it allows you to coordinate the AI and see what the AI is up to. Uh, I think we can uh, coordinate production. And you get this pop-up. Oh, that's the uh, Trotsky one. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can like look at what the AIs do. So we can look at Mongolia, for instance. But we'll kick Mongolia out of the faction anyway. Ha! Huh. Okay, so what would Stalin do in this scenario, okay? When Stalin had unrestricted ability to declare war on other nations, what would he do? Let's get rid of all these crap divisions anyway. Let's get rid of all the rubbish ones. If he had unrestricted abilities to declare war on any nation, what would he do from the get-go? What would he do from the start of the game? Of course, he'd take out Finland, all right? He would take out Finland. Because Finland is just a thorn in his side, right? Uh, we need a field marshal to begin with. What have we got? Ooh, this guy usually gets purged. Maybe we'll go for some different purges, boys. Maybe we'll try some things that are a little bit different, maybe. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that fallback line. And... I'll drill won't spot that we've picked the crappiest of generals. Won't spot this. These guys are all really rubbish. Will he notice this? <laughs> So we're going to be grinding the crappiest generals. There is actually an advantage to that. 
you, because they're low level, they gain XP quicker, so they actually will level up. And who knows, maybe we'll get some brilliant generals out of the blue that we won't actually expect. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We will find out. Alright, okay. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to declare war on uh, Finland. Merge? Do we have any planes in the Far East? Yes, we do. Go here. Alright, done. Go here. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Flatten those airports. Done it. Done. Done zoed. Alright, we'll stick to these three to begin with. Yeah, I'm actually happy with that. That's okay. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. Done. And this should be a pretty easy war to win. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never actually played an OCB game before, so I'm actually a little bit confused what's gonna actually gonna happen here. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit confused to actually see what's actually gonna happen. Yeah. Hmm, thinking face. Thinking emoji. Hmm, what is going to happen? I'm not sure. Let's have a look at these guys. Let's have a look. He's level 3, so he's actually not too bad. He's level 1. Oh, look at how much XP he's gaining. So quick. Current progress. How come the green bar is looking like it's near 100%, but yet it says 33%? Oh, yeah, oh, this game works, boys. Uh, Finland would like to offer peace. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, what's this? Tanks? Helsinki? Why not? Why not? You know what we could do as well? Shore bombardment. We managed to bomb them. Yeah, we we'll bomb them. I bet their airports are flattened. Do they even have any planes? No. Ah, we're bombing those airports for absolutely no apparent reason. Huh. Oh, look at this. The AI chooses to put a total of 14 divisions, 13 divisions, in this one zone. Ah. Wow. Nice move, AI. Genius. Fabulous. The trial of the anti-Soviet Trotskyite Center. We don't want to see that word. That wasn't it. The, the anti-Soviet Center. Because we love Trotsky, right? Aldra, I love you, bro. I love you, dude. We can either remove the stability guy. We can either remove the communist guy. Or we lose political power. Yeah. I think we'll get rid of the communist guy. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So, usually with the series I do on Hearts of Iron 4, I usually rehearse it. I usually play it out to see what will happen. But the, the randomness of this series is going to make it really exciting. So you're probably going to get a lot of surprises from me. And probably a lot of surprises from Alderhill as well. So just be aware of that, okay? Be nice to Alderhill, okay? He's very gentle. You may hurt his feelings if you if you say nasty comments. Oh, actually, I would recommend you go to his channel and just say, Hi. Hi, guys. How's it going? Just something completely random. He <laughs> can speak you. <laughs> All right, we can go here now. Let's do it. Actually, you know what we'll do? I know all the tanks onto one dude. You gonna be the tank dude? Motorized. Oh, actually, now I think about it. The tank dude was already on the right guy anyway. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. One, two, three, up here. One, two, up here. One, two, here. Is that right? There we go. Boom, done. Victory. Go here. Go here. Why can't I assign you? There we go. And then we'll give him the best general we have, which is going to be a career officer. <laughs> Another Georgie? So many Georges in the Soviet Union, guys. All right, good. Is that? Oh, these are all the tanks. That's good. That's good. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, this is probably a little bit too many divisions. You know what? You know what? I like the challenge. Let's do it. Let's do this. The question is right now, because we've not justified war... What is going to happen in this scenario? I actually don't know. Alright, can we be aggressive, boys? Come on, let's be a little bit aggressive. Come on, I believe in the Soviet power of the Soviet Union, okay? I believe the power of the word I'm not going to say. It begins with a C and ends with M. And I'm not going to say it because closed captions are probably going to catch me saying it. And that's a bad word. And I really love YouTube. YouTube is great. I love the YouTube algorithm. 
probably algorithm is a bad word as well. So we're not going to say that word either. Oh, wow, hang on a minute. Go here. And then fighters. Go here. Oh, there's not enough range. <laughs> the fighters we've got are trash. Um, huh. You know what would be a really good doctrine? You know what would be the best doctrine? Superior firepower. You know what this game needs? You know what this game would really make it a lot better? Rocket artillery. <laughs> I can't <laughs> You know what, forget it. We're gonna go rocket artillery, okay? This is gonna be a rocket fuel game, okay? There may be differences in the opinions and the ideologies of Trotsky and Stalin, okay? Uh, but the truth is, Stalin wants rockets, okay? We already knew that, right? Stalin had like a fetish for rockets, right? I've said so many words right now that are probably are gonna be flagged. I've been demonetized, guys. Everyone subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> Please save me, Patreon. Are we winning? Yeah. I believe. Can he make it? Good. Run. The back. Up. Oh, the sweet. Oh, that genius. The forces of the Soviet Union are just too strong. It's too strong. Can we like railroad to here, please? Go. So. Can we? Oh, there you go, railroad. Okay, go. The secret trials of the generals. So we can remove Milhale. I actually want to keep keep me Mikhail. Mikhail. Um, so this is the one people used to go for. Because this is one, get rid of your... Um, your Georgie guy, which is your genius armor guy, which is too strong anyway, so we'll get rid of him. There you go. We are going to try our absolute best right now to try and make this as difficult as possible as well. We don't want this to be an easy playthrough, right? We don't we want to give Alder an easy rider, right? We want them to make this nice and challenging, right? If I've not already described it and you guys don't understand what I'm doing right now. So, we are going to be trading save games, okay? I think I explained that at the start, didn't I? And, uh, yeah, so he'll get the save game, then I'll get the save game, then he'll get the save game, then I'll get the save game. Until we finally some, we find some ground, some concrete ground of where we're going with this, okay? Does that make sense? Yep, yep, yep. Right, go here, go here. Oh, look at these strategic bombers, guys. The glorious fleet of the Soviet Union. Actually, are these? Oh, these are tacticals. These are strategics. All right, let's make a thousand air wing. I'm actually struggling with air at the moment, even though they only had 28 planes. I don't know how this game works anymore. Maybe we do this. Does that work? We're having like some really <laughs> brutal supply problems here. Do you like goes here? Go here. And then you guys go like here. There you go. Okay. We can actually move now. We have some breathing space to breathe. I'm going to upgrade the Lapland as well. Alright, that's it. Because, remember, Stalin had a dream, right? He he dreamed of taking out Finland and Sweden and Norway, right? He dreamed of having a unified communist... Oh, I said the C word. Unified Scandinavia. <laughs> the trial of 21! The Davian Air Force has been getting off too easy. I suppose the enemies are everywhere. Um... If I definitely go for the bottom one, I would definitely get a civil war, wouldn't I? I can't remember what the, what the best and the worst guy is here. Uh, I'll go for that one. I think they're equally not very good because they're like Air Force dudes and you don't focus that much on Air Forces, the Soviets anyway. And Navy as well. We're currently at uh, 29 of 48. Oh my god, the Mountaineers are so strong. What's the speed on you guys? Speed is... 1. Huh. Go here, go here. Go here, go here. Malmo? Oh boy. Alright, and go here. So, when I originally started the series and talked about it with Aldrihill, uh, we had this idea in mind that every end of every episode that we'd, we'd throw a surprise at each other that none of us would expect. Um, I feel like I'm throwing several surprises as I go. I feel like the whole series is as a surprise as a whole. 
Okay, I think we don't need rocket artillery, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll say no to the rocket artillery. But what we really do need... Carriers. Right? Nothing says the power and the might of the uh, Soviet army than a big fat aircraft carrier, right? Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, look at this! Pocket in the, out in the mountains! Get those Swedes, man. They were never going to be able to succeed against us. Right? Brilliant. Because, because, because let's be totally honest, we don't really want Gotland, like, right? <laughs> Come on. Gotland. <laughs> Gotland balls to the... Here we go. Done, Zode. Alright, where are you going to be positioned? Where is going to be my tanks? Actually, now I think about it, I think there's a lot of tanks here. And then the tanks are going to like go whoosh around the mountain. What? Where did the field marshal go? Okay, the game is totally broke on me. Oh no. I have to micro lots of clicks. There we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. So, so this guy usually gets purged. When the uh, the purge happens, he historically was purged. Historically, if anyone knows in the comments below why the reason he got purged, let me know in the comments below. That would be really cool information to learn about the world and the Soviet Union, Sweden, Gotland would like to join our faction. You know what? No. 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 You know what? I don't even want to comment on anymore. You know what? I don't even want it. I don't want it anymore. I don't even want it! The Great Purge is complete. Congratulations, boys. We did the purge. And the only right choice in this situation would to get women in the Air Force, wouldn't it? Because that was one of Stalin's dreams, right? Not only did he want rockets, not did he want Scandinavia, but he also wanted the true dream, the meme itself, of women piloting his jets, yeah? This is like, God, this is brilliant. This this is like history recreated. This is, uh, this is fabulous. Uh, for some reason you guys aren't moving. I don't know why. Please. Go. Where are they going now? Um, oh no, it's because they have a, an attack order. No, no. No, it doesn't matter. We have because like no one must have would it be like the smallest nations in the game that has like the narrowest front line possible. Let me say that again. They're the smallest nation in the game but have the longest front line possible. There we go, we got it. We got it. Superior firepower. The best firepower. All right. Done. Done. Can we like make an attack, please? Here we go. Aggressive. Go, go, go. Is he like, still alive? Oh my god! Grab the land, please. All right, they'll capitulate soon, right? We have a civil war. All right, boom. Go here. And done. Yep. Is the war over now? Can we, we GG out now? What the hell is this? Is this even a real place in Norway? Paradox. Just making up history again, aren't they? Just making it up. Oh. I, I was just about to say, why didn't I get Denmark? That's a good point. Why didn't I get Denmark? Huh? Why did I not get Denmark, eh? Okay, I've decided that we are actually... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, they don't even like us anymore! <laughs> they don't want to join our faction! Uh, okay. Okay, alright, now we can chill out a little bit now. We can just build some stuff, you know? Just relax, chill out, you know? Okay. Combat width. The most optimal combat width is uh, 26, right? <laughs> and uh, 18 combat width? That sounds like a good idea too. 
And uh, what we're going to do is send the uh, Republican Spain. I realize we have no convoys. We have no convoys. <laughs> I was just for, for trolling purposes. I was gonna. I was gonna like. I was gonna like send all my convoys to Republican Spain, but we're using them all. <laughs> we're actually using them for importing oil. There we go. Boom. Done. Stalin's Constitution. Collectivist propaganda. Okay, that's sweet stability, boys. Stalin wanted stability, right? He wanted it. He needed it. It was part of him. Yes. Okay, so what can we do at this point? What can we do at this point? So the luxury of being able to declare war instantly means that I think they don't join factions. I'm not sure, because there's a faction requirement. Oh, hang on. <gasps> Poland would like to form a faction with us. Let's boost the relations. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Beautiful. Like actual history. Because I mean, the Polish. And the, the Russians have always been friends, right? It's just, it's built into their history. You know what also as well? We live on the edge, boys. So what we're going to do is we are going to invade Mongolia. Because Mongolia is naturally Russian clay, right? It always has been. Right about, the st I remember in EU4 when you start the game and you possess all of Mongolia. Because it, it's, it's part of the base game, right? And I played... Like about seven or eight hours of EU4, okay? So I know that game really well. So don't tell me in the comments that I'm wrong, all right? Can you like not say that, please? I can't believe Sweden keeps asking me. Ethiopia has been liberated. I'm trying to think of something to do with uh, nationalist Spain. I can't think of anything. So the, kind of the goal of this series is to make a world conquest. It, it wasn't my initial... It wasn't my initial goal when I first thought of this, but I think uh, we need an end goal, don't we? Like an end game. To kind of make it fun. Staff office plan. Boom. And that's probably not going to be that useful because they've only got... Oh, they've got five divisions. Okay. Go. And then someone go here too. And then, and then you guys can go here as well. Oh, there's only one division going to the capital now. Forced attack, that's right boys. Go big or go home. Talented, new officers, the purge has been lowered. I forgot, completely forgot about the purge. <laughs> Just totally forgot about it. Huh. God damn, I'm struggling to take the capital. Horse, look at the horses are so strong. Look at the horse, so strong. Anyway, we're done. Mongolia annexed, yeah. I don't think there's many victory points. Oh, it's five. I don't think there's many victory points in the capital, but I guess not. And we have to literally annex the entire country. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be aggressive. Go. That's it. Annex the entire nation. I don't think there's anything more frustrating in Hearts of Iron Four. But there's no victory points to grab, and you just gotta grab territory just for the sake of it. Is there anything more annoying? Then go here, then go here, then go here, then go here. Been encircled, man, these Mongolian horses. The tactics are so advanced, you know? There you go. Alright, boom. So glorious. We're gonna add more air crews here, even though there's no planes here. Because that's how we roll. Institute press censorship. <gasps> Improve worker conditions. Oh damn, that's something that Stalin would go for, right? 
Relocate industry to Moscow. Relocate industry to Leningrad. Oh my god, these are new events. Are these actually in the base game? I never even... Well, I, didn't even, I never even knew they put these in the game, guys. Well, there you go. Death and... Wake of the Tiger's now been out like two months. I'm completely unaware of how the mechanics work. Guys, I'm brand new to this game, alright? I realize we've got a lot of political power, too. Let's go for... Let's go for... Disarm Nation. Um, Soviet Treaty. Ugh! Ugh! No! no! An agreement between the Axis? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. Um, uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. It's been a political power now. It's all spent. Don't ask me what I clicked on. I'm not sure. Go. More construction. Right. All right, we done now. We done Zod. I think so. Come on. There we go. There we go. Excellent. All right, and now we uh, go here. Brilliant. Look how glorious this is. Now, this is Stalin's dream, guys. And it's so strange that no one cares about us, like, conquering and, and vi violating the the, uh, the sacred territory of other countries, you know? It's kind of weird, though, isn't it? Kind of weird. <gasps> Sweden wants to join! No. No. Actually, are they a puppet? Oh, okay. I thought I made, I thought I made them independent. Who is this? N. Svisk Tiger. You know what would be really awesome too? Lapland. Oh, there's no actual spaces. I think, this is, I think we have to put these in order of importance, right? There we go. Beautiful. These guys are very, uh, I think they're spazzing out a little bit. What's happening, boys? Please. Are they going now? All right, they're going. They're having a slight problem with tanks. Just a small problem. This will be removed on the 30, oh, okay. Well, that's actually, oh, is that? No, we've got something else. Women in aviation. So the 588 Night Bomber Regiment becomes active in Moscow. Is that like an ace pilot? I don't even know. Okay, this is a thought. So, if 50% of your nation is made up of women, surely if you allow women in aviation, surely that should increase, well, one manpower, and then two, the amount of ace chance you get. Surely ace chance should increase by at least 40 or 50%, right? Because that would kind of make sense, right? They always felt like the women in aviation event needed a buff in, you know? It was a bit weak. And they have one division. Alright, there you go. Done. Glorious! So glorious. And we also need better carriers, right? Of course. Of course. And we do some more factory conversion. <laughs> oh my, how many factories we've got? This is insane! We don't need civvy factories anyway. Who needs civvies anyway? We have an economy for military conquest. That is the goal. That is the dream. And this is it, boys. So just a heads up, if anyone doesn't really understand what this was all about. Um, yeah, so if anyone doesn't understand what this is all about, this is a save game swap collaboration between me and Aldra Hill, another YouTuber who plays Hearts of Iron 4 and Paradox Games. Uh, if you want to see the next episode, it will be in the pinned comment at the top of my comment section. And well, as a playlist, will be at the top of the description as well. And you can watch them all pretty much immediately once we've finished uploading them and done them. So we will hand it over to Mr. Trotsky, who apparently has a different idea of how to run the Soviet Union. Hopefully he doesn't ruin my beautiful nation. Oh my god, socialism is realism. Oh my god, that's like the perfect combination. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, it seems the Japan, J J Japanese are uh, invading China. That's new. You know what would make this really special? If he didn't quite understand 
why he had no tanks. <laughs> ah, good times. Anyway, if you enjoyed this series, guys, remember to like and subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes, and do the same when you go to Alder Hill's channel. Don't forget to subscribe to him and like his video. Apart from that, have a good day. See you soon. Goodbye.